A woman rows a boat upstream from one point on a river to another point four miles away in one and a half hours. The return trip traveling with the current takes only 45 minutes. Fast does she row relative to the water, and at what speed is the current flowing? So we've got a couple of things going on here. Um, we know that we will be modeling this with a system of equations because um, there's multiple things we don't know, which are how fast she's rowing relative to the water and the speed of the current. And there's two relationships that uh, are occurring. Uh, one is that when she's rowing against the speed of the current, all right, then uh, she's going a certain speed because it takes her an hour and a half. And then the second relationship is that traveling with the current uh, takes only 45 minutes. So we're going to start by labeling uh, some variables. We're just going to call them X and Y here. Uh, X will be the uh, speed that she is rowing. So speed, uh, oops, see, speed, uh, she, she's rowing, and that's relative to the water. And Y will be the other unknown, and that's the speed of the current. Now we are going to just write an equation for each of the relationships that we have. So, uh, taking speed, we know we can multiply speed by time uh, to, uh, to get distance, okay? So, we know we have a distance of four miles, and uh, that takes an hour and a half um, when we're going against the current. That means that the speed that she's rowing uh, is reduced by the speed of the current, okay? So, this is the kind of that net speed, and then we multiply that by the 1.5 hours, and that would equal uh, the four miles. On the return trip, um, her net speed is going to be the speed she's rowing plus the speed of the current since she's traveling with the current. And we multiply that by the time it took, which was three quarters of an hour, so uh, 0.75, and that also equals four. And so now we can solve this system of equations. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the, the decimals here by actually writing them as fractions. I probably should have done that at the, in the first place. Uh, 1.5 is 3 halves, and uh, 0.75 is, is 3 fourths. Okay. Um, now I'm going to multiply this first equation by 2 to get rid of that fraction, and that just gives me 3 times x minus y equals 8, and multiplying this second equation by 4 gives me 3 times x plus y equals 16. And now if I distribute the 3's through, um, I get 3x minus 3y and 3x plus 3y. Okay. And of course I've got my 8 and my 16. And now let's go ahead and move this over. Um, this is what we're working with. We can uh, just do a quick elimination here by adding these two equations. So the uh, y terms will just cancel and we end up with 6x equals uh, 24. And then we can divide by 6 and we get x equals 4. Now that's x and then to get y we can just go plug that back into one of these. So if I plug it into that first equation I get 3 times 4 minus 3y equals 8. That's 12 minus 3y equals 8. Uh, so 3y equals 4, and then uh, uh, divide by 3, and I get y equals 4 thirds. Now I have a, a solution to the system of equations, but I need to interpret that um, in the context of the problem. So x is the speed that she's rolling, and y is the speed of the current. And we were, talking, we were using hours and miles. And so uh, the speed that she's rowing, okay, she is rowing, rowing, uh, 4 miles per hour, and the current, current is traveling at 4 thirds miles per hour, 